again talking about um what you call it? Talking about COVID being pe breaking people's brain. This is pretty funny. People have been poking fun at Ethan Klein, but I think he enjoys this because he's a little bit of a narcissist in his own right as well. Another guy who, unfortunately, I feel like COVID has broken his brain. Maybe COVID been, didn't break his brain. He's probably been on a downward spiral from way back before. I don't know what actually happened, but I used to watch H3, H3 back in the day. Then I stopped because I, I found Ethan Klein insufferable, like just too much. I couldn't do it. Similar to Burt Crash, I think he's enjoyable in small doses, maybe even less than to Burt Crash. There's just nothing comedic about him, nothing interesting. Like, I just don't care in it. I really don't. And I don't know. Maybe as again, something subconscious of me as well. When I see somebody that looks like shit, maybe it is a bit weird to say this out loud, right? But there's something about my head. When I see somebody that looks like crap talking so greasy like talking with so much vim and bass in their voice it doesn't add up so i just i just like, i don't know it's like this guy is not like this in real life like what is this like like your superman your call out guy your internet police in your little studio but then in real life you know what i mean like it's just it, it doesn't make any sense like it just doesn't vibe with me maybe that's why i don't know but again i think this headline's a little bit out of order because i still think again in terms of brain broken in terms of COVID maybe Joe's probably gone off the reservation more than Ethan Klein has and I think it's still fun and it's still beneficial to have people in media to have prominent figures like Ethan Klein call out these other people who are saying wacky shit in the same way Joe Rogan could call out him for being a fat shit Do you know I mean I think there's there's it's fair game as long as no one gets offended and wants to start copyright striking people's videos I think it's okay I, I just don't you know I mean I just don't want it to be one-sided but anyway, this is the headline courtesy of the post millennial it said obese YouTuber criticizes Joe Rogan's health choice is um resident youtube lit blowhard ethan klein took aim a popular podcast and host joe rogan on tuesday criticizing him for his health and pandemic related advice it's not well received so this is courtesy of the post millennial it said resident youtube blowhard da, 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 unable to grasp the irony of the statement klein who is also known as hvhe productions decided that he was his turn to be twitter's main character by <laughs> misinterpreting so misrepresenting rogan's views he re his remarks were undoubtedly in response to the podcast recent platforming of Dr. Robert Malone, a scientist who contributed to the newly developed MNR technology in the 1980s. Like many others on the political left, Klein sought to rejoin to sorry enjoin his voice to the growing legion of those suffering from mass formation psychosis with a dishonest appraisal of rogan joe rogan he says here quotes um joe rogan who lives on elk meat egg yolk and human growth hormone with his lungs full of tar thinks he's healthier than everyone wrote clan on twitter this motherfucker is such a bitch that when he got covid he threw the kitchen sink at it if you're healthy just ride it out like you say you man a man should yeah see, see this is what i mean about ethan klein Joe Rogan's gone off the reservation, right? But there's never a there's never a reality or there's never a kind of there's never yeah, there's never a world where anyone's ever gonna listen to Ethan Klein when it comes to health choices. The guy can't put down a yum yum. The guy can't say no to a tackle, but the guy can't say no to a takeaway. Do you know what I mean? He clearly has some sort of body dysmorphia, some sort of body issues, self-confidence issues, lack of discipline that he tries to spin in a comedic way. You see a lot with Wings of Redemption, where he kind of constantly would try to poke fun at himself before you poke fun at him by saying, I'm built like the Michelin man, I'm fat as shit, I can't. You know what I mean? All this kind of like weird jokes that they're not really jokes he's just trying to defend him he's just trying to put shields up before you start throwing stones and arrows at him because secretly deep down when he's alone at night he fucking hates himself and what he looks like which is clear because Ethan Klein looks like complete shit right that's that's not even that's the thing with guys that guys like that and wings it's not like they're they they're the way they look because of poor diet choices or whatever or poor like no diet choices or poor dietary choices you'll say right it's mostly just because they're just gluttonous right they don't have any self discipline they just look fluffy they just look like the way it's just like falling it's not even anything based on any kind of lack of resources or money because a lot of again look people from a lot of um disadvantaged areas like i how i grew up in south where you're you know you're essentially living on fucking lemonade and cola two liter bottles of it because they're one pound and the bottle of water is fucking three quid then of course some of you guys are going to be looking a little bit plump in certain places because the shitty food is way more cheaper than the actually healthy food right you can get a box of six chicken wings and chips for 150 how much is a salad going to cost you maybe two pound maybe three pound so it makes sense if you're from a poor neighborhood that you're going to make do with stuff that is more processed and isn't as healthy for you vis-a-vis -vis people who live next to an Irwan or a whole foods and these guys could essentially buy their own whole foods if they wanted to yet wings of redemption and um h3h3 look the way they do because they just can't be bothered so to have somebody like a joe I can get why it could be a little bit ugh, because it kind of reminds you consistently that there's people out there who generally take pride in how they look 
take pride in their health again maybe it's excessive to some extent maybe it's a little bit delusional in joe's extent because he legitimately thought that he was staving off covid from doing kettlebell swings and taking cold baths but still it's better than what this guy's doing do you know what i mean like it's better than what he's doing what if he catches covid what happens then does he did does he immediately go on respirator like obviously god forbid but come on man like who's like I, I, that, that, that's a thing sometimes when you have two terrible people like you just have to choose the least terrible and the least terrible option here is definitely joe rogan not ethan klein it just has to be said no matter where you sit on the debate no matter where you are right or left let's just be honest like who are you gonna listen to legitimately when it comes to health and fitness you're not listening to ethan klein the guy's built like a fucking sack of potatoes you know what i mean it's just terrible um he added that um dude has caused so much vaccine hesitancy and misinformation and dishonest even have uh, and uh, and he dishonest and he doesn't even have the balls to stand by the shit he preaches now he's on his show talking about how fat people should die of covid dude is such a fucking piece of shit okay that doesn't make any sort of sense hesitancy and misinformation i don't think comes from podcasters i think comes from the cdc and the government they're the ones that are making people be hesitant and putting out disinformation because at the beginning, what was fucking Fauci saying about masks? Wasn't he saying people shouldn't be wearing them? Wasn't he advising people to stave off buying them because they needed them more for their flipping, you know, the, the nurses and doctors, the same nurses and doctors that are fucking doing TikTok dances and shit, right? And people say, oh, they need to have fun as well, let their hair down. Okay, cool. Then take off the mask and give them to the population. Now suddenly the masks are super important and here's Fauci coming in with fucking seven talking through his mouth like this. Like it's absolute bullshit. Those guys are the ones spreading myths information and being dishonest go to the people that are actually in power not fucking podcasters do you know what i mean it's a little bit stupid don't get me wrong is he helping the situation probably not but he's allowed to say what the fuck he wants to say like i, I don't understand that. i don't like it like i said i'm a fan of the show it's annoying to hear him talk about covid for 17 hours in a in a fucking podcast but he's allowed to do what he wants um it continues to said instead of getting vaccinated he takes the regenerate regeneron an experimental drug that was developed alongside rna vaccines his logic makes no sense and then he credits the um, ivermectin which does fucking nothing for covid like again just false statements they might not do a lot but they do something they might not help for you but it helped some people it's just not i don't see what this stuff is doing like ugh. the youtuber continued not going to mention whatever the fuck is an alpha brain referring to rogan's non-nootropic um, regime meanwhile while joe is on the big pharma conspiracy against vaccines someone needs to ask him who makes environment uh, 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 sorry ivermectin and regeneron and all the other shit he took when he had covid valid points i wouldn't mind him sitting down with joe rogan face to face it won't happen because i think they're quite as sensitive as each other um i don't think joe likes to be pushed back or to have people kind of disagree with his points which is probably why we haven't seen sam harris on there so far because he's clearly somebody who thinks joe has been spreading misinformation not being helpful to the overall um you know fight we have with the pandemic or with the covid vaccine at the moment with covid not vaccine at the moment um and i would like us again as a fan to have more people on who can push back and maybe in this you know push back against what he's saying more so when it comes to covid because it's just getting annoying if we're going to listen to covid all the time let's have some different thing or let's have some difference in opinion let's just have him talking at us one way it continues here Klein, a former cultural critic who exposes the extent of his ignorance anytime he opens his opinions on politics is not against it's not exactly the a picture of health a fact made evident by the numerous quote tweets and replies on his remarks now again for for this ian mouse chong guy is not the best person to talk about health and fitness he doesn't look the greatest either don't get me wrong but you know it is quite funny to have these pictures of them side by side you know of course joe's takes a lot of shit but you know he clearly cares about his health and what he looks like more so than ethan klein does <laughs> who obviously you know his talents are not in you know making himself look a certain way it continues um it says here um Someone said, Caleb Holt says, sorry, we should definitely um, all be getting our health advice from Ethan Klein instead, who is clearly more healthy. But yeah, um, what's this? Another person, Laura Chen. So again, all the posts on the right are, are kind of piling on top of him and stuff. I'm sure Rogan saw it. Whether or not he's going to comment on it is going to be really interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think it's all, it's all R-worded. I want it all to end. I've had enough of all these people talking you know all this nonsense when it comes to the covid it's just annoying it really does piss me off um no one wins you know what i mean everyone looks dumb they're all wasting their time they're all flipping got money to basically you know prevent themselves from dying especially when they get the covid it's not necessarily that important millions of americans don't have that ability to do so um their time could be best spent doing many different things 
I'm not in a position to tell them what they're doing with their time. But again, the irony isn't lost on me when somebody that looks like even Klein is talking about health and fitness, it just isn't lost on me. So I completely get the response to it. But, you know, the headline's a little bit a little bit snarky, a little bit unnecessary. But again, considering how even Klein's gone off the reservation, I completely get it. Like I said, if you have to choose between two of the worst people during COVID who have basically brains have both broken, I'm definitely going to go with Joe. I'm not going to go with Ethan. That, you know, that, that point just remains... That, that point just needs to be kind of drummed home again and again and again, Jeremy. Like, no one's ever going to listen to that guy when it comes to those kind of things. It's just not going to happen. 